Well, thank you all for uh, being here today. First, let me introduce uh, Dor Dorothy Scobie and Megan Frazier, who are with uh, ALS, and uh, we're, we're honored to have them here. It's a great organization. Um, I've been called upon by a number of people and organizations to participate in the Ice Bucket Challenge, which is a social media phenomenon that has spread um, into a nationwide movement to support the great work being done by the ALS Association and its many chapters including the Tennessee chapter based here in Nashville. Uh, those who have challenged me include State Representative uh, Darren Jernigan, the Nashville Ballet, the Nashville Opera, Metro Arts, uh, Matthew Jackson and Brian uh, Krim, both Facebook followers, uh, my son Rasco Dean, Bob Sellers from Fox 17 this morning, Jessica Bliss from the Tennessean, and Mayor uh, Rogers Anderson from uh, Williamson County. This challenge is good fun for a great cause. It's raising not only money, but awareness about a debilitating and eventually fatal disease that can affect anyone. It knows no racial, ethnic, or socioeconomic boundaries. And for reasons yet unknown, our veterans are twice as likely as the general population to uh, contract ALS. So to respond to that challenge today, I am joined by Eric Close, um, who plays the mayor of Nashville on the show, Nashville, on television. Uh, Eric's character, Mayor Conrad, gets to deal with a lot of interesting plot twists and intrigue. He always seems to be having a wonderful time. Uh, as you know, I, I get to stay in my office and kind of do the drudgery of being the mayor. So I thought, you know, if Eric wants to play the mayor, here's a really good opportunity for him to play the mayor. So I've asked him uh, to uh, stand in for me and to be drenched uh, with uh, ice water. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mayor. I, I part, beg your pardon, but um, I, I believe that it's each mayor for, his, for himself. We each have to carry our own weight, and uh, that's kind of not what we agreed upon. So we might need to rethink that just a little bit. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. You're right. Um, I was hoping that if I sprung it on you here that you would disagree. Uh, so, well, actually, Eric contacted me uh, and asked me if I would be, wanted to do this together, and I thought that was a great idea. So now I'd like to challenge the other mayors in the state of Tennessee to participate in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. One thing Nashvilleians know how to do is to get behind an important cause. So I hope my fellow mayors across Tennessee will encourage their residents to do the same. Whether it's giving our time or money, we can all do something to help somebody else in need. And that's what we're always trying to encourage. Um, my wife and Ann and I made a donation today, and I hope others will do the same. You can go to ALSA.org, ALSA.org, to donate online. And I'll now turn the podium over to Eric uh, to say a few words before he gets very wet. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. you know, I have been known to do my own stunts, but in this case, uh, we'll do it together. Um, thank you all for being here. Um, thank you, Mayor Dean, for uh, responding to my text to get together and do this. I think this is its not only good fun uh, to get together and do this with you, but it's also for a really important cause. Uh, I have to admit, up until just recently, I didn't know a lot about, uh, about ALS. And then as I started to notice all the social media, social media and people challenging, I started to look into it and is, like, as the mayor said, a uh, terrible disease that needs uh, a lot of help and funding and uh, this has really raised a lot of awareness, the Ice Bucket Challenge. Um, I, want to, uh, I want to thank my friends who challenged me, Connie Britton, who I work with on Nashville, um, my friend Joaquin Cedillo, Mike Rodriguez, Tim Nash, Mark Llewellyn, and the uh, folks over at DVL Nashville for challenging me to do this. Um, I, I want to uh, do this challenge today in honor of my friend Susie, whose mom lost her battle with ALS. Her name was Patricia DeSanto. So I do this in honor of her. And um, um, as the mayor and his wife did, uh, my wife and I also made a donation this morning. And I just encourage you to everybody watching to go to ALSA.org and to make a donation. Every dollar helps and, and makes a difference in the lives of these people that are struggling with this, this disease. And uh, last but not least, I have several people I'd like to challenge to, to uh, join us in the Ice Bucket Challenge. I'd like to challenge Mr. Jim Nance and Sir Nick Faldo. I'd also like to challenge Mr. Brant Snedeker, a local here in Nashville. I'd like to challenge Steve Buchanan, Pete Fisher, 
Lou Lasty and Dr. Robert Lum. And uh, without any further ado, it's time to get chilly. <laughs> Mr. Mayor? Boy, that ice has been sitting there for a while. <laughs> Just step away from the uh, electricity. <laughs> yeah. My mic off. Mr. Mayor. <laughs> the RMLS. <laughs> 